So far we have seen the alkyl groups as substituents. So we have methyl, ethyl and so on. Even the halogens can be used as substituents in the organic compounds. So when we have fluorine as a substituent, it is named as fluoro. If we have chlorine, it is named as chloro. Bromine is named as bromo. And iodine is named as iodo. But the rules remain the same. That is, the lowest number should be given to the substituents. And the substituents are always arranged in an alphabetical manner. Let's take an example. We are given this organic compound. So the first step remains the same. That is, we have to find the longest carbon chain. So in this case, this is the longest carbon chain. So if we start the numbering from the left, we see that the substituent is encountered at the second position. If we start the numbering from the right hand side, we see that the substituent is encountered at the fourth position. So by the rule, the lowest number should be given to the substituent. So we get that this is wrong. Since this is giving the fourth number, this is present at second number, so this becomes 2-chloro. So we have the prefix for this organic compound is 2-chloro and not 4-chloro. Let's take another example. We are given this organic compound and, and we have to find its prefix. So the first step remains the same. That is, we have to find the longest carbon chain. So in this case, this is the longest carbon chain. If we start the numbering from the left hand side, we see that the first substituent is encountered at the second position. If we start the numbering from the right hand side, we will see that 1, 2, 3. The first substituent would be encountered at the third position. So by the rule, the lowest number should be given to the substituent. So we start the numbering from the left hand side. So if we name it, it becomes 2-chloro, 4-bromo. Is it right? We see chloro first, that is it at the second position. And then we have bromo at the fourth position. So is this how we should name it? No, because the second rule says that when we have two or more substituents, we always arrange them in the alphabetical order. So while writing the name, we write bromo first. Because B comes before C. So we first give the lowest number to the substituent and while writing the names, we write the names in the alphabetical order. So the name becomes 4-bromo-2-chloro. Let's do a question here. We are given an organic compound. What is the prefix of this organic compound? Let's write the organic compound. The first step remains the same. That is, we have to find the longest chain of carbon atoms. So in this case, this is the longest carbon chain. If we start the numbering from the left, the first substituent, that is bromo, is encountered at the second position. If we start the numbering from right, we'll have 1, 2, 3. So to give the lowest number to the substituent, we start the numbering from left. Now B for bromo comes before C. So we arrange the substituents in an alphabetical order. So we get 2 bromo. 4 chloro. So this is the prefix for this organic compound. Let's take another example. We are given this organic compound. Let's try to write its prefix. So the first step is to find the longest chain of carbon atoms. Now, if we start the numbering from right, we see that the first substituent is encountered at the second position. If we start numbering from left, we will see that 1, 2, 3. The first substituent would be encountered at the third position. So we give the lowest number to the substituent. So we start the numbering from the right hand side. The second rule says that we have to arrange the substituents alphabetically. So we have bromo and methyl. So the first letter of bromo that is B. First letter of methyl that is M. B comes before M. So while arranging them, we first write bromo which is at the second position. And then we write methyl, which is present at the fourth position. So this is the prefix for this organic compound. So if even if we have halogens or alkyl groups as the substituents, the rules remain the same. That is, we give the lowest number to the substituents. And 
The substituents are always arranged in an alphabetical order.